Hi, this is Sandra from The Little Back House located in San Dimas, California. Thank you for visiting my channel. So on today's video, I am doing a live, I'm going to show you a live that I did on Instagram where I am doing some upcycling. So what I do in my store is I upcycle furniture, I upcycle home decor, and then I put it here at my little retail store. So today, on today's video, you're going to see a live that I did and I hope you enjoy it. I would love, love, love to do these lives on YouTube, but I have to have 1,000 subscribers and I'm not quite there yet. <laughs> so if you would hit that subscribe button and share with a friend, I would really, really appreciate it. Then I could do the lives on YouTube as well as Instagram. So what I'm gonna do from here on through the summer is I will be doing lives on Instagram. I will video it and I'll post it on YouTube so that you guys can see it too. Thank you so much for stopping by the little back house. I really do appreciate it. Okay, so I may have gotten a little bit ahead of myself. Before I show you my live video that I did on Instagram, I prep my pieces for the live. So what that means is, um, for example, I have four canisters. So I'm gonna get three of them painted with the um, paint salt wash mixture. And so I could start working on them on the live because it just won't dry in time for me to um, do that on my live. So this is kind of a little behind the scenes. So I am a Wise Owl paint distributor and I take a little bit of my chocolate paint and I mix in my salt wash. And apparently that was the last of the salt wash in that container so I just dumped it in there. I, it's supposed to be, according to the manufacturer's directions, mixed in equal parts, but um, I just kind of mix it to the consistency that I like. So however you feel about it um, is the way you can mix it. My paint was already on the thick side because it was uh, an old can of paint, so just mixing in a little bit of salt wash really gave it a nice thick consistency. So I will just mix that together and I will get that onto my canisters, let them dry, and then I will be prepped for my live. I'm using my Zebra, Zebra, I'm not sure exactly how you say it, brush. Um, it's the first time I'm carrying these brushes in my store and my first time using it. So I really did like it. It was very nice. Um, I'm a usually a Klingon brush user, but um, I ordered these from the Roll Milk Paint Company and um, they're very nice to work with. So here I am just giving the lid of the first canister a coat of paint and I'm not doing it really um, thick. I just want to put a little bit of texture on there so it looks um, cement like and I am using the color weather vane. I think I said chocolate a minute ago but it's actually weather vane. anybody's up after nine o'clock tonight but I decided to do a little live 
Is anybody awake <laughs> or just me? <laughs> Put the kid out of bed and, well, at least she's supposed to be sleeping. I'll see. So, I have been working on upcycling everything that I can lately. <laughs> And I've been wanting to try this redesigned by Prima mold. It's, I don't know if you guys can see it. There we go. It's got all the vegetables. And I use the paper clay. So what I did first is, I guess I should have left one undone, but these were like a ceramic, just a regular ceramic pot. And I mixed a little bit of my salt wash with my paint. And when you mix paint with salt wash, it literally sticks to anything and everything. So, and it doesn't have to be a chalk paint or a certain brand of paint. Uh, salt wash, it just sticks. Get my container so I can, I got the big one. Let's show you guys the salt wash. So you just put equal parts salt wash to your paint and I'll show you the consistency right now um, and it just sticks so you're able to transform pretty much anything that you want um, pottery clay you can see I've done these uh, little glass jars I did the bottom I'll be white waxing these and they have some really cool lids go on them so these would be really fun like in a bathroom or just change it up if you have something you you've had for a while and you just want to change the color change the decor um yeah you can do that so all i do is take my clay this is the smallest one so i'll show you real quick i've done the carrot so what I did is I salt washed it first with the how did uh, I saw I salt washed it first with the paint and then I glued on my mold and you can use whatever glue you want. I like tight bond. It's wood glue but it works. It dries really quick too. And on this one I did the radish and then the onion and now I'm gonna do the mushroom. I think this is a mushroom. <laughs> I really don't quite know what it is, but I think it's a mushroom. And I just have this little roller and just take out any excess that you have. I should put all my comments so I could see the comments so we can talk. <laughs> okay, so let's see if I can log in and I can see the comments because I can tell somebody's writing something, but I can't see what it is. Oh gosh, now they want to send me a code. Oh, what is it? Let's see if I can do it, guys. Nothing like doing it live, right? The pressure's on. <laughs> Let's see. asking them to resend it because I can't see. Okay, so it says wait a few minutes. I'm sorry. I can't see the comments, guys. So tomorrow we are going to do a live in the morning. Again, us ladies there at the end of Bonita. I say ladies now because there's four of us, which is really fun. Um, so we, you guys get a variety here in our little town. So I'm going to take out the mushroom. They come out pretty easy. Um, I have this little tool. I think I got it from 
like one of those cameo silhouette things or Cricut and I just use it to kind of dig out the, the overflow of the clay. The um, paper clay is really nice to work with. It stays soft so you really have to kind of plan this out. You're not going to finish this all tonight. So if you plan it out you can make the molds tonight, get them glued on, let them dry and harden overnight and then paint them up tomorrow. You're, unless you use the um, 10 minute casting resin, that one dries really fast. So that one you could probably be able to go ahead and start painting it tonight. But if you wanna mold something to curves uh, while it's still pliable, like this one I just glued. So I need it to mold into this little crevice of the, the concave part of this pot so you need to do you need to use the clay while it's you know soft once it hardens you can't it's not pliable anymore so you can use the 10 minute casting resin but you just have to move quickly you cannot dilly dally because it hardens quickly all right I don't know what I did I can't log in I can't see your comments Let me get out. See if I can get out. Start over. It's even popping up, but I don't know what you're saying. But what I do do also is you do use the clay. Keep it in a Ziploc baggie and kind of plan your your pieces quickly because even in a Ziploc, it lasts you know a fair amount of time. But it is open and once air gets in there, so I try to keep it as um, closed as I can. So I'm going to do this little mushroom. Hi, sweetie. Hey, can you get mommy's iPad, the extra iPad? Did you show me something? I'm on live. I'm sorry, but... You got a hundred. That's yeah. my girl. Okay, I'll get your iPad. Congratulations, sweetie. Thank you. Is it in your room? Yes, and my charger too, please. Okay. Thank you, love. So, I know on that iPad I'm logged in. I've never logged in on Instagram, I guess, on this computer. So, I just kind of put the tight bond out to the edges. It dries clear. And this is my craft room, so I change this tablecloth every, every so often, so... That's why I wipe glue on it. <laughs> so I just take my little pot and just kind of center it. You could use like a painter's tape if you wanted to hold it down. But I do find that the um, type on it, it dries pretty quick. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay. Want to go ahead and hand it to mommy this way? Yeah, so. yeah. You can unplug that one and plug it in. Okay. Thank you. This one? No, yeah, that. No. Give me the charger. And then this part, plug this part in. You can bring the cord up if you need it to the, the plug. Okay. Let me get your computer. Ooh, it has some charge. Yay. Let's see. I don't know what you guys are saying out there. It's okay, go ahead. Thank you. So, 28 minutes past your bedtime, but you got 100, yeah. so that's good. Good night, love. Good night. Te quiero mucho. Te quiero mucho. Okay, where am I here? Little back house started live video. So I am in. Let's lower the volume. This is an old one. There we go. Okay, apparently I can't go back on the comments. Let's see. Okay, I'll just keep watching it. If you guys have a question on 
any of the supplies that I'm using, feel free to ask me and I will answer them for you. So what I do is I just set this aside and I let it dry overnight. So I'm just going to move this one aside. I did this one just a few minutes ago and you can see how it's already um, hardening and it's I've only put it on right before I started the video. So these I did last night. I did the carrot and the radish last night so it's hard. I mean it's not gonna it's not gonna go anywhere. And then what I did is I mixed up the um, if you mix any of your paint with the salt wash just keep it covered because it's very thick and it does um, it does harden up. So I like my salt wash you know it's kind of like I don't know cake batter consistency I guess. So I'm going to just go right over my piece and it kind of does look like it disappears but when I come back with my white wax, you're going to see the carrot just pop out. So if you want to see the final result, hi Nadine, uh, you'll have to be on our live tomorrow. And if you can't watch our live, we go live in the morning at um, 1030. I think I'll go first tomorrow. Um, and then after me, it'll be um, Hummingbird, Hummingbird Inspirations 39 and Cucamonga Cottage. They'll go after me. And I did invite Barbara Ann, but I'm not sure if she's doing it tomorrow or not. So we'll find out. We'll have a few for you guys to live hop <laughs> tomorrow. So this is all I do. Get that in there. I just want to make sure you cover it all up. And you can still use these containers for food because I'm not doing anything to the inside. So you just want to just wipe them down to, keep, to clean them. Don't put them like in the dishwasher or something like that. Don't submerge them in your sink. Just clean out the inside because it's not going to last if you do. Okay, so our carrot is all painted. Okay, so he's kind of blending into the background. Oh, I see a piece I missed. So these are kind of 3D, so just kind of check all the angles and make sure you didn't leave a spot unpainted. And now I'll do the radish. Really starting to warm up. I'm so hot. I'm even hot in here right now. The window's open, but it's kind of warm. <laughs> and this one, let's see, I did let it dry overnight, but do I dare paint it? <laughs> Should I get, not follow the rules? It feels pretty firm. Let's try it. We'll find out if anything happens tomorrow to this onion. You can give your piece as much texture as you want, but if you want it to look like concrete, 
um, just keep going in the same direction. But you can do like a cross hatch pattern. You can, you know, give it a stucco-y type of effect. You can make it as textured as you want. It's totally up to you. It's really fun because you can get these containers. I mean, you might even have a set at home. You're just tired of looking at it. You want to change it up. You can add these molds. There's so many different molds. I just went with the vegetables. But there's um, farmhouse animals. There's French country style of molds. There's all different kind of molds that you can choose. Horses. Or just paint them. But if not, they are a dime a dozen in the thrift store or yard sales. People are always just getting rid of them because their styles are changing. But they don't realize they could update them themselves. And we sell all the paint and supplies in the store and on the website at the Little Back House. So there's the onion. What you could do too is, I'm not gonna do the mushroom yet because that needs way more time to dry, is um, use a heat gun. If you wanna speed up the process a little bit, you can buy these little Wagner heat guns. I don't think they're very expensive. I've had mine for a while, so to be honest with you, I can't tell you how much I paid for it, but I don't re remember it being very much money. I'm gonna put this in water. I'm gonna put the lid on this paint so I don't spill it. I'm gonna grab the plug since my daughter brought it up here. Let's put it in. So there's speeds. It's different than a blow dryer because it doesn't blow a lot of air. But it's really hot. And if you put it too close to your paint, you'll get a crackle. So you kind of just want to move it around. But it does um, speed up the, the drying process pretty quick. But it's hot. Very hot. And it's not too loud, which is nice. Like a blow dryer is so loud. If you want to craft into the wee night hours like I do <laughs> after everybody goes to bed. And the nice thing about chalk paint too is chalk paint dries really fast. So you don't have to do this for about a minute. And it dries. So Crystal was in today from Vintage Fairy Finds and she brought in a bunch of new stuff. I'll show you some pieces tomorrow also in the live. So cute. I think we just about sold out of her necklaces. We maybe have like three left. But she's so creative. Yeah, she makes all of her pieces. So I will be excited to show you guys those tomorrow. You can use these um, molds on furniture too. They're not just for crafting. And they're actually food safe, so if you like to do chocolates, 
um, their food safe molds. They feel pretty dry. So that one I did let it dry overnight, but it looks like it's doing okay. These two dried overnight. And this one can still dry. A little mushroom. So that is that. Next I will take my white wax and let's wax it so you guys can see how pretty it looks. Now they are a little textured so if you feel like it's a little too textured for you and you want to smooth it out a little bit, you could just take your piece of sandpaper and just take off any of the little nubs um, that you feel. your project so have it however you want it and then I'll take a wet wipe after and just kind of clean this up feels pretty good it feels soft let me grab my wax so I have my um White wax, the soft white wax by the Royal Milk Paint Company. And I will just go in with my Jamie Ray brush. That's the one inch. You want to use a firm brush to wax. To get into those. It's pretty warm. It's melting the wax. But when you have these firm bristles, you can really push it in there. Just like you do your furniture, you can do your piece. Wipe it back. You can add more. You can wipe off as much as you want. You can come back in an hour and buff it out. Give it a little bit of a sheen. So pretty. Now it looks like this mold was always part of this canister. And we put it there. Can you see that? How cute is that? Isn't that adorable? And you can just keep wiping off as much as you want. You can go back and add more if you 
wished you hadn't taken it all off. Whatever you want to do. I like that. It's so pretty. And then I will come back and I'll do the little lid that goes with it. And how cute is that canister? So I will finish these up. I will finish up the little um, other little glass containers that I'm doing. And I have lots and lots of goodies to show you guys on tomorrow's live in the store. So if you are able to catch us at 1030, I will be on at 1030 with all our new merchandise. And then Cucamonga Cottage and Hummingbird Inspirations 39 will go on after me. We'd love for you guys to join us. And if you can't watch it live, watch it on the replay and share it with a friend. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.